My name is Jay Engel, and uh, my wife and I are the executive directors of the Miss Nebraska pageant uh, board. And we're so excited to have Teresa come back home to our great state of Nebraska as our first ever Miss America. Teresa has been the embodiment of a role model as Miss Nebraska and Miss America, and we are so proud of her accomplishments. With that, I would like to introduce Miss Teresa Scanlon, Miss America 2011. I'd like to call Kathy Manville uh, up to the stage. I am honored to present to you this congratulations card, which is donated by Infinite Graphics. We wanted to provide everyone with an opportunity to per per personally congratulate you on your achievements. You have inspired so many, and to say that you have made your community proud is quite an understatement. You have inspired so many. As I said, and it, it has been so enjoyable for me to be a part of this card and to hear everybody share their stories about you and all the achievements that they've seen you accomplish through all of this. And your success has meant so many different things to so many different people. From mothers who are so grateful to have a role model for their daughters who isn't afraid to share her faith to lifelong residents who are just plain excited to have someone put the panhandle on the map for them. We pray that God will provide you with a safe and unforgettable journey as Miss America. Thank you for representing our pan, the panhandle, the state of Nebraska, and our country with such composure, elegance, and sophistication. Thank you so Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I'd like to uh, invite uh, the mayor of Scotts Bluff, Randy Meninger, excuse, Meininger, I apologize, <laughs> up to the stage. Teresa, it's been an honor to be part of your family for so many years. My wife says that whenever you give a gift for, to a woman, make sure that it doesn't have a warranty. So this doesn't have a warranty, so this is a special thing. <laughs> yeah. But on behalf of the city of Scotts Bluff, I would like to offer you and issue you the key to the city of Scotts Bluff to, to be, be displayed. You know that when you became Miss America, your world changed. You have an opportunity. Your span of influence has changed. It hasn't changed to who you represent. God, our city, our community, our state, the United States. So on behalf of the city of Scotts Bluff, What does it mean to be able to come back to Scotts Bluff and Gearing after five weeks in the whirlwind you've been riding? Um, I think this is the most surreal part so far. <laughs> Coming back into town when we were flying in, seeing the monument again, um, just the whole community, it was it was amazing. And then of course, when I'm back here, back home and driving through Scotts Bluff and Gearing again, it feels like nothing ever changed. And so it's hard to remember everything that has gone on the past couple of months when it seems like nothing is different. <laughs> and so it's, I definitely feel at home again. And I know that's the way the rest of the year is gonna be. By the time I get back here next year, it's gonna feel like no time has passed at all because it's just always so amazing to be back here. And I've already, been able to speak to so many people who are just so encouraging, so supportive, and that's what I've felt for the past month and a half, and it's really incredible to have that from every single person here in the Valley. It's amazing. It really is. Congratulations again, first of all. Thank you. Um, what's it been like just those, this month? I mean, 
whirlwind. 22 states you said today? Well, so, like so far in my life, I visited about 22, 22 states. states. Yes. Well, I don't even know how many. Right. Well, the past month and a half has been all over the place. Um, I, I went to Canada for my first time. I visited Montreal. I went to Hawaii for my first time. There have been a lot of firsts so far. Uh, we've been all over the place doing so many things, working with corporate sponsors, working with different organizations. When we went to the Super Bowl, we were working with the Taste of the NFL event um, that they do to raise money for food banks across the country. So we raised a million dollars in one night. We had 4,000 people there at the event. It was absolutely incredible. So the time I spent there was promoting that and the wonderful cause they support. Um, we've also got started with our work with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. When we were in Philadelphia, we visited our first children's hospital there. It was absolutely amazing to meet the children there. They were all coloring crowns to match me. And so I sat down, got to color crowns with them. It was the first time I had been able to be around kids for quite a while. So it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. I had marker all over my hand by the time I was done because I'm left-handed and you smudge things when you're left-handed. <laughs> and so we had, we had a wonderful time. Um, we also had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and visit uh, Bethesda and Walter Reed Military Hospital hospitals there. We do a lot of work with the USO throughout the year, so I'm really looking forward to working with them in the future. Um, those were absolutely incredible trips. So there's already been so many times that you've just made incredible memories, and that's the way it's going to be for the rest of the year. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, one question I have, the night that you're from Miss America, obviously anyone that was from Nebraska, didn't matter where they were, were doing the happy dance in their living room. And the whole time there you are, just <laughs> Calm as can be. When did you finally get to just break down and celebrate? <laughs> well, you know, it's it was kind of a, a different story, I think, because it was all at once uh, relief and, and all of that that kind of washes over you at that final moment. And after that, it was, it was more just relaxing and... Um, it was celebration all the way up to that point. I think we had a fantastic time the whole time we were in Vegas, getting ready um, up until the final night. So it was it was a big party the whole time. We had a great time, and afterwards it was nice to have my family there with me at um, in our suite, spend a little bit of time with them. My last time before leaving the next morning, and and just sit back and relax and, and realize what just happened, <laughs> and realize how my life had just changed. And so having some time for that to sink in was good. <laughs> What are some of the things you've done since you got back to, to Gary and have you been able to spend any time with friends? Well, stuff, yeah, or? we just got in last night, and so I had some time to spend with my family and friends um, just at home. And then this morning I went to Community Christian School and spoke there with the students. My younger brother attends school there as well. Um, I got to have lunch today with the board from the Scottsbluff County Fair um, pageant. And um, then later, of course, this evening is the event, and then, we're, and then we leave. So it's been absolutely crazy fast here um, at home, but it's been great to just see so many people that have been here all along and that have been here for so many years. It's always wonderful to see familiar faces again. You said at the school that it was kind of a dream come true for you. When you were little, I mean, uh, 13, 10, were you thinking, Someday I want to be Miss America? You know, not when I was very young. When I was much younger, my dream was to become president and a Supreme Court justice. I never thought of becoming Miss America. It was not something I was even interested in at that point. But as I, as I got a little bit older, around 13, 14, and, and started competing in pageants, that's when I first started to find out more about what this was about. And at that age, I first read the book Heather Whitestone's Mother Wrote, and she's a previous Miss America who was deaf and um, her mother wrote a book about her story and her journey, and that was the first time I had actually heard about what the program was about, what a Miss America's life had been like, that sort of thing, and that changed things quite a bit as I learned more and more about this program. And I think that that's one thing that I'm so excited to do for our community is to really raise awareness of this program and to have people jump on board and, and support it because we all understand how important it is to support our young people, um, to support their dreams, and goals and that's what this organization is all about and um, it's about helping you have the tools you need to reach your goals to receive the education you need and that's what it's going to do for me I have my entire undergraduate paid now 
and part of law school as well. That's, that's huge. And many women do are part of this organization specifically for that, to get the tools that they need and resources to take the next steps in their life. And so as we try to support our young people and encourage them to reach their goals, it's so important to support this organization and all that it does and all that it stands for because it really is helping women across the country reach their goals and dreams and receive the education that they want to get there.